giddies. So today I, oh, my voice, I was like, ah, pterodactyl life. <sighs> today I'm going to be doing a nails of the month video. I used to do just nails of the month, showing you guys my nails, and then I was like, you know what, it's kind of boring, like it's just nails, like, uh. So last month I did an outfit of the day with the nails. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial that you guys see on my hair right here. Partially because I don't just want to do a nail of the month. Secondly, whenever I do something in my videos, a lot of you guys ask for a tutorial, so it's kind of just like kills two birds with one stone. I don't know why we're talking about killing. Why is that saying so horrible and harsh? Ugh. I mean, it's nothing special, but it's just a big messy bun. If you guys want to see a messy bun tutorial or my nails, then just follow along. Hi. Here are my nails with the ring light on and with the ring light off. I think I'm gonna keep the ring light on, but on the lowest setting and a little bit farther back so you don't see so much of an intense glare, but it still is bright enough. I wanted some summer nails, cutesy, you know how I do, and I wanted ice cream cone nails. I've been seeing ice cream cone nails for a while, and this is just, oh! As always, these are 100% hand painted. My nail slays, and we went for a pastel look. So my first hand is the same as my second hand, but there is a light blue, sort of like a Cinderella color and this beautiful lilac and orangey and a pink pastel and the colored ones all just have a little bit of ice cream on top and then some sprinkles and the sprinkle colors are yellow red and blue and then on my thumb this one has a jewel for an imitation cherry oh my god my favorite nail is that ice cream cone the ring finger right here so this ice cream cone is dripping and this one doesn't have any sprinkles but she did put um, a shiny pink sparkle but it just makes it like almost looks icy and I love how it's dripping and again a little red jewel for um, a little cherry there and this hand is the exact same she did a really good job it's very fun it almost looks like a birthday party Easter and summer all threw up on my nails usually how it looks is like a little kid just was like yeah <laughs> and just so there's no confusion uh, my next video after this is with my old nails it's just one other pre-recorded video I have of my last nails and then we're all into new videos with new nails, but just I thought I would say that because people are gonna be like, did you get your old nails back and then go back and then go, what? Okay, now let's get into this tutorial right now. Boom, my arm, it's a little greasy, not really. That's okay though, because you can just put up your greasy hair out of the way and no one will know. <laughs> Trash life tips. I like a big messy bun if you don't have hair extensions then you can skip this step but I like to ex include hair extensions because it gives me a thicker bun so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my head over get this first little section out of the way and I'm going to clip my hair extensions normally you clip them like this I'm going to clip them above like the other way like instead of going like this I'm gonna clip them upside down so that they're going with my hair and you can be messy with this, it's all good. Once you have, I have about six of them in my head. I didn't count, but roughly. You wanna just take little sections, tease. So now take this slop of a mess that you got going on. Yes. Now, ponytail. This one like completely matches my shirt. I don't know what kind of calling that was for me. You're probably not even gonna see it anywho. Now, you could do a half pony like this and just kind of like pin it down like so, or you could take it out all the way and wrap it. Um, I like to go this half route. I feel like there's lots of volume here and then just kind of like pin it down. To wherever I see fit. Honestly, you guys, messy buns are so easy. You just be messy, and sometimes it can be cute, sometimes it can't be cute, um, or won't be cute. Don't fret! Honestly, just pin your hair wherever. Whenever, wherever, this little piece can go. Make it go here. Is that cute? And then if you want to pull some pieces down to add to that messy look. Don't ruin your hair though. Pull some out here too. It's huge and messy and fun and simple. Maybe your hair's a grease ball today and you're like, I'm not going out of the house like that. Throw it up in a messy bun. 
do it. I now look like the cowardly lion on the Wizard of Oz, y'all. And if you really want, see, cause there's kind of like an awkward space here and I don't really like that. So just put a little flower or bow or whatever you want. And then it's like, you spent so much time doing this. You should be my wedding hair girl. <laughs> said no one ever to me. It looks like a messy little fluff, but and the good thing is, is all messy buns are gonna come out different, and especially different every time. Some of them I do them and I'm like, what is that? And other times I do them, I'm like, oh, slay. This one's kind of just like in the middle. It's not like anything overly crazy, but it's not ugly either. It's just there. I don't know, if you just want your hair up out of the way, it's all secure, make sure you bobby pin it and you're good to go. So thank you guys so much for watching this. Just remember to don't lose your dinosaur, be yourself and just stay smiling, you guys. I love you guys so much. I'll talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.